I called an old buddy. I think I may have us a spot. Buckle up for safety. Buckle up. I just want to get to making some record. Record? Record. Seven counties southwest in Tennessee, with no still sight and 100 gallons of triple grain moonshine mash set to expire, Mark and Digger's plan to revive their mentor, Popcorn Sutton's best recipe, could end up in ruins. The cows have knocked two of our mash barrels over. We ain't got no choice. We gotta pull up stakes here. Two are still upright, so, you know, we have 50% of it. But if we don't get these other two run, we're going to lose it as well. If you let it go too far, it turns vinegary. It's too late. Feel how much cooler it oh, is in it's here. gorgeous back here. Just on a whim, I called up an old friend of mine. I've asked about using his property. You know, he, he says that we're welcome to it. We're under a lot of pressure time-wise, so if it's suitable, we're going to get still in and go salvage our mash. That's pure spring water right there. Wow. Look at all the little snails. Yeah, them periwinkle snails right there, that'll tell you, that'll tell you cleaner water than anything. They, they need cleaner water than a trout. You see them little snails on there? There's no pollution in this water. Them feathers taste pretty good. You ever eat one of them? <laughs> no. I ain't gonna eat no damn snail on purpose. Snails, spring lizards, uh, mayflies and whatnot, they won't be in contaminated water. It's gotta be very, very clean for them to exist. That's a good sign that it's good water, it's clean water, it'll make really, really good liquor. That's perfect right over there, it's flat. We got plenty enough room to set that rascal up. Yeah. Hey, look right over there in front of you, puss. There's been something in here tromping around. If you look down there, that poke been be poke salad by bears is eating it. We've had issues with bears in the past. You know, they can be dangerous. We got a decision to make, Puss. I think it's a no-brainer. Is this our still sight? Is a 50-pound baby fat? That's according to how tall he is. <laughs> <laughs> got an excellent, wonderful location. If we get it all set up today and get our mash in here tonight, we can run it tomorrow. Yeah. Let's make a move. It's already pretty well level. Not a lot of foliage to have to clean out, no trees to cut, and it's right next to a good water source, good, sweet water. Oh, yeah. The gods have smiled on us a little bit today. They've blessed us with this place. Got to go get that mash. It's going to be dark. All right, we're wasting daylight. Fine morning for making liquor, ain't it? See what we got. Well, I know what we got. We got the same thing we had last night when we put it in there. Smell good last night, it's gonna smell good today. Yeah. Having reverse engineered Popcorn Sutton's triple grain moonshine, Mark and Digger set their sights on producing the recipe on a large scale before what's left of their mash spoils. I don't know if it's a damn mailbox or a choo-choo train. Looks like a choo-choo train with two cannonball holes through the side of it. I can guarantee you there ain't been one <laughs> run like that in these East Tennessee hills. Well, this is a day me and Digger thought we'd never get here. We've had so many obstacles and hurdles this season. I'm gonna get some paste squashed up. But today's the day. We're running the Popcorn Legacy Liquor, the first upscale run. It's a little bit crooked, but steam don't know it, does it? No, it don't know where it's running. It's been a long time coming on this run. We've been fought hard with this steel, getting it together, getting mash built, then the cows fighting us. It's been tormenting to get to this point. Here we go. Whoa! Dang. Still being new, and we had some issues with it during its test. We've been making liquor any minute there, buddy. We got a lot of time, we got a lot of money in building this steel. It's completely untested. It could be a total disaster. You never know till you try. Previously in these small runs for the Popcorn Legacy Liquor, it's right on the money. But when you upscale it, something can go wrong. We've got more riding on it. We don't have time to waste, and we don't need no screw-ups. i tell you what makes me sad. Last 10 minutes of Lassie. No, it makes me sad far I let a while ago that I actually ate something that smelled like that. Showing sure up. Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> it kind of makes me noxious. <laughs> yeah, boy, this is 
prime, prime. We've never run a mailbox deal. We've never run this deal. If it is a fail, then we're out thousands of dollars and weeks of work. There's a lot more at stake now. Hey, man, we ain't got a leak. We got good pressure How on does that. a banjo string, ain't it? Yeah. Hey, look at here. Ligger? Ligger. Hot damn. Still works. Still works. We'll know here in a little bit after we run a little of them heads out. Well, that's good right there. We know the steel's working, but we haven't tasted it. We're not in safe territory yet. Make some happy crawdads right now. We're still deep in the woods. That's a good stream right there. Well, it's cold, know. it's cold. That's good water. We need to look this over when we get time. I'd like to see where the springs here come out of the ground. I'd like to get a little water out of it spring tamper with. If we can get to where it comes out of the hillside up yonder, hell, we could save from having to go get spring water all the way on the other side of the mountain. But if your buddy don't mind us coming in here and working a little more, we'll come in and spend some time. We'll have it in pineapple tune. He don't care, I don't think. I think he's a little bit excited about it. I hope so. Boy, it'd be awful to piss him off now, wouldn't it? What oh, we gonna we, do? We need to go get him some taters and corn and maters and put him on his doorstep. And I'll tell you something else. We ain't decided what we're gonna sell it for yet, but no matter what this liquor's worth, I say he gets the first gallon. I'm all for that. I'll make sure I temper him a fine gallon. Just look tasty. Yeah, yeah scoop us some dough out of that jar. You know, just because we got liquor running out, that doesn't mean we've accomplished anything at this point. We know that the mash bill is what we need it to be, but if this liquor is no good and it doesn't suit our taste, then we're back to square one. Hmm. That ain't really what I wanted to hear. Wow, the taste is there. The taste is there, Fuzz. <laughs> I got that smells fine. You yeah. can smell the corn. You can smell barley and you can smell rye. I couldn't be any more excited. The things that are hot right now are flavored aged whiskeys and multi-grain whiskeys. That's probably 115, 120 proof, somewhere in there. This could fetch you to $200 a gallon. Ain't a thing wrong with that. Let's not sell none of this. This first run, I think it's just strictly for advertising. Yeah. It's the Beto Man. We need to create a big market for this multi-grain popcorn sutton liquor. So we're going to give a sample of this liquor to friends and customers for free, just for promotion. That's where you want it. That's fine tasting liquor right there. 